based on that, which is very That's relevant. a very important point. And who was the architect of that uh, uh, protection uh, clause? Who wrote that? Samantha Powers? To protect, which was written... Wait, wait. Aaron, stop. You're not hearing me. Who wrote it? Samantha Powers? Samantha Power, and guess who was on the board? Hanana Shrawi, which was the deputy of Yasser Arafat, the Holocaust denier Hanana Shrawi, and Samantha Power wrote... Uh, crafted responsibility. Aaron, then why is John McCain on the side of bombing Syria? Why is the stra Dr. Strangelove on the same side as the neolibs who want war in Syria? Well, that, that's the question that needs to be asked. Where do his allegiances ultimately lie? Are they with the United States or are they with another larger, let's say, internationalist agenda? Or at the end of the day, is it about money? Is it about oil? Is it about gas? These are questions that really need to be answered. Uh, but the larger question is, is this really in U.S. national security? Uh, in fact, is there an immediate impending national security crisis? If not, uh, going to war without consulting Congress, using this responsibility to protect doctrine that violates the U.S., uh, that violates international sovereignty is, is very questionably, uh, questionable and possibly unconstitutional. Right. So your book, Impeachable Offenses, I do hope it triggers discussion at the very least and people demanding answers. I highly recommend Aaron Klein's book, Impeachable Offenses. And Aaron, I wish you great luck on your book tour. The phone number is 855-407-282. I want to go to a domestic issue, a little one, which is this Miley Cyrus, a former Mickey Mouse Gatier, doing a striptease last night at a youth award without a word of commentary by the president who has the bully pulpit. And I not so sarcastically wrote when I saw this, and it's a disgusting act, and I'm not a prude, that we've gone from Mickey Mouse to lift up your blouse in one generation. From Mickey Mouse to lift up your blouse in one generation. How do you feel about that? Jamie from WFTL, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. I highly recommend Aaron Klein's book. Jamie, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Hi, Dr. Savage. I just wanted to comment on your Miley Cyrus, and I just want to tell you that I came home from work last night. My daughter was absolutely embarrassed to even tell me that she saw this. What an absolute adolescent, disgusting pig she made of herself. My daughter used to follow Hannah Montana, and I am just absolutely appalled that the fact that MTV continued to... Yeah, but who's running MTV but degenerates of the, of the highest order? These are sick, degenerate drug addicts who have gotten increasingly brazen under Obama because there's no government intervention to stop this pornography. Absolutely. And I'm absolutely appalled that they, did, they continued to roll the cameras as if it was nothing. I have never been more disgusted. Now, it wasn't this for children. This wasn't this... The uh, Video Music Awards primarily for young kids. Thank you for the call. 855-407-282. If you care to talk about the striptease show or bombing Syria in the same breath, you can do so by calling the Savage Nation. WLQR, Ken in Ohio, you're up on the Savage Nation. Yes. Ken, you're on the program. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, you know what? I gotta honestly tell you, I think we should seriously bomb the living crap out of that place. Right, that's a very brilliant statement, and why? Yes. Well, you know what? Assad has been doing so many crazy things. Do we know that Assad gassed his own people? Do you know that for a fact? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, well, neither do I. And so, therefore, don't you think we should be a little timid in dropping bombs? before we know who did this, did this? What if you found out that after we dropped the bombs that the UN proved definitively that it was the other side who did it? Where would that leave us? We're just mad bombers who drop bombs because we feel like it? Think about what you're saying. We don't know what he did. It's not saying he's a good man. He's a horrible person. You understand that? From Mickey Mouse to lift up your blouse in one generation, I'll be right back on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 